Hey y'all, this is Whitney um, from Spastic Chatter, and I have a special today. Um, I every once in a while I'll come across a product or organization that I think will benefit uh, my viewers, and I came across Patty and Ricky, and it's an adaptive marketplace. So I have the founder Alex with me today, and her okay. her her blog, her blogger is a, is that what she it's called? Her, the, the, yeah. yeah, her, her blogger might come, might come in in a second, but, but I'm going to let Alex introduce herself and then we're, we'll get on to the conversation, so. Awesome. Well, Whitney, thank you so much for having me and hi everybody. I am so honored to be here. Shannon was having a little technical difficulties. It kept bouncing her off, so hopefully she'll be joining us. She's our adaptive fashion blogger at Patty and Ricky. Um, I'm Alex. I'm founder and CEO of Patty and Ricky, which is the adaptive fashion marketplace um, for adults and kids with disabilities, um, patients, people with chronic conditions, uh, seniors and caregivers. And um, yeah, I, I started Patty and Ricky three and a half years ago. I myself have many invisible disabilities. I have a disability called POTS, which um, is a hidden disability, um, a physical disability that affects my circulation. I can, um, I have, um, I get dizzy a lot <laughs> and sometimes can faint on occasion. Um, so I have my electrolytes as I'm talking with you. <laughs> um, but I, um, I also have dyslexia and ADHD. I have auditory processing disorder and I have um, uh, anxiety and depression since I lost my mom 12 years ago. So um, I'm just honored to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Whitney. No problem. Thanks for agreeing to be on. So, um, Patty and Patty and Ricky is you call it a, you call it an adaptive marketplace. So you take from like looking at it, you take all of the all of the adaptive clothing and accessories and everything out there. You kind of put it into one place, correct? Yeah, that, I really. Yeah, is that the way that, you? That's it? totally. Cool. So, um, so what is, I, 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 I was thinking of questions, um, before we got on. So how would you describe, like, self, self-confidence and how does fashion play into that? Oh, yeah. Well, for, first, I want to make sure you are totally correct in terms of Patty and Ricky really feeling like a department store. I currently, do, um, Patty and Ricky doesn't have our own line of adaptive fashion. No. But we, um, cur we curate, we, so we have over 100 adaptive fashion brands that we work with from around the world. And um, I really just wanted to bring uh, functional fashion together and, and make a beautiful shopping experience for people with disabilities. Um, it's named after my mom, Patty, and my cousin, Ricky. So uh, it's really personal to me. And I really just wanted people with disabilities um, to be the experts. And we're really following people with disabilities. Many of my designers have disabilities or a loved one with a disability. So, yeah. So uh, to answer your other question. Um, yeah, I kind of got to help myself. About yeah, I, I with, and you got to keep me on track because with my ADHD, I can be everywhere. <laughs> um, but, you know, for me... Um, you know, when it came to adaptive fashion, I feel like everyone should have the right to accessible fashion for, um, clothing to work for them and to support their needs, um, in a beautiful way. And, in in um, you know, a lot of, you know, in the last really f five years, well, I started, since I started three years, we've really come a long way in the adaptive fashion, um, industry where things are that look great and also happen to be inclusively designed for everyone so i i just really saw with my mom patty and my cousin ricky that um uh fashion was super um um powerful yeah. i saw with my mom she wanted a beautiful cane my mom patty and once I got her, she was, she had brain cancer when I was 19. I was her caregiver. It was just me and her. And I ended up getting her a beautiful cane. And I hadn't seen until then, until that moment, once I gave her that beautiful cane, I saw how it made her feel beautiful. It made her feel confident. People were approaching her and being like, Patty, I love your cane. Where did you get it? How's work? 
how's Alex? It just became this conversation piece. And I, I liked that fashion really was this, um, this catalyst for people treating her the way she should be treated. Um, so I, I think it's super powerful and it made her yeah. feel really good. Exactly. And I can kind of, I can kind of relate to that. Cause I always, I mean, me and one of my friends always say, say, if you look good, if you look good, you feel good. So if you, if you're in, if you're into fashion and you, and you, and you make yourself look good, you're going to, you're going to feel good and you're going to radiate that, like that positivity and like you're going to make it, you're going to be more approachable. And, um, so yeah, I can totally relate to that. And what you're saying, I wanted to bring up another point that the adaptive, uh, fashion lines have really, I feel like they've really blossomed in like the last year or two, because if you would have searched adaptive fashion, like, like, a, like a, a couple years back, all, all there was was like these, like, uh, these, like, I don't, I'm going to be forward. They, they were, they were ugly. Like they were like, like sacks and like, like scrubs looking stuff. So like, I love that it's become like, like, uh, like fashionable. So yeah. Yeah. Too. And I just think that independence piece, like I, I think that, um, you know, you and I were talking about the buttons to buttons, which go on the, the button of your, um, your button down should already be in your closet. And, you know, just the idea that, you know, a lot of adaptive fashion just like helps with independence, especially during COVID people are having to be more independent than ever. So I agree with you. It's like the look, the feel, making sure that, um, that it looks on trend and sophisticated, good for those Zoom interviews you're doing for work or whatever everyone's up to right now. And, it, and it, I think another good thing to point out from my, from my own personal, like, um, personal style, like, the, like when you get an adaptive fashion that fits, it looks so much better because, because I, I, an example is for jeans, I used to wear maternity jeans and the fit is so mm -hmm. off because I'm not pregnant. So the fit is so off. Yeah. So like having adaptive jeans that actually fit is so, it's like a game changer. And Shannon is back in, so I'm gonna let her in real fast. Hmm. Let's see. She's joining. <laughs> I agree, it's a game changer. And the look and feel, you know, I. It's just super important that it, it looks good and feels good. Yeah. Hey, Shannon. Uh-oh. Is it connecting? <laughs> yeah, it's connecting the audio again. Okay. We can't hear you again, Shannon. And we are recording. <laughs> Let's see if it... Here, let me text. Are we back? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Okay, can everybody hear me? Yeah, we're recording. We're recording. Oh, you're you're fine. Okay. So you want? Shannon is our fashion blogger and my friend. Hi guys, how are you? What? Um. So, Shannon, you want to you want to give a little bit of introduction for the people watching? We we just sure. Said, um. We said you're the blogger. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm not sure what, what Winnie and Al Alex have already talked about, but my name is Shannon, and I am um, the, the empowerment blogger for Patty and Ricky, and it is such a blessing, and I'm so um, glad to be here and on with Whitney. So thanks a lot, and let's... Awesome. So did you free? Did you free? I think she froze. Oh no! And Shannon also, she's a she's an incredible mom of two. She was also um, uh, Miss Wheelchair, um, I believe Florida. It was. I know she's in Florida. I think it's Florida. So she's super yeah. cool. And yeah, and she's um, frozen. We'll just just keep on keeping on, and hopefully she'll yeah, be able we'll to jump back. On. So what is? Let me look at. 
let me look at uh, my notes. And what is a staple in your wardrobe that you think everyone should have, Alex? Ooh, that's a that's a good one. Um, oh man, I um, I'm super preppy. I'm from the East Coast. I live in Colorado now, so. Um, Whitney, when you were talking about flannels, I've started to wear some flannels now that I, I'm a Colorado girl. Yeah. Um, but I, during COVID, I have been in some really comfy, cozy um, sweatpants and <laughs> um, and um, my stretchy uh, compression pants. I love. Um, but what it, before COVID, I was a play, blazer girl. I love, you know, whether it's with leggings or jeans, I love a good blazer over even a t-shirt. I feel like it just elevates and makes me feel like a, I can conquer the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I've actually been wanting to get in to get into get into blazers, but um, I have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look on your on your site and see if there's some blazers on there because because my problem is I have very um I call them man I call them man arms because I can, I I have so much. Like my body, my body is so different because I use my arms to transfer and stuff. So they're, my arms are big. So I, it's hard, it's hard to find blazers that, that fit me, like that fit my arms and my torso. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Well, you're not, you're not alone with that. You know, as a, a, you are a beautiful woman and you are strong, it sounds like. Yeah. And <laughs> it sounds like a beautiful thing to be strong. And, um, so, and if we, and what's awesome is if, if we don't carry something at Patty and Rookie, just shoot us a message, let us know what you're looking for. And if we don't have it, we will find it if it exists. So, um, oh, very cool. even if we, we'll send you elsewhere, we just want you to find the products people are looking for. So, um, so I already have already a few options going into my head of like, okay, what options do I need to send Whitney about blazers? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So... This one was, uh, I had a question that I thought Shannon could, could answer. Maybe, maybe you can give some, some insight. Um, what is, what is, uh, what is some, uh, I call them disability hacks for clothing that you're, that have caught your eye recently? Like just going through yeah. social media or anything? Those, personal Yeah, experience. well, something, yeah, I, um, Something that's really important to me is I knew I knew when I started Patty and Ricky that I wanted to carry adaptive fashion, so fashion that's already been adapted, so that people, you know, I, I, I strongly believe people with disabilities are the ultimate hackers and have been hacking many things, including their clothing, for their whole lives. So I, I wanted to make sure to curate products that already existed so that people with disabilities or those that are aging um, or patients um, that we had products with their needs in mind, but I also knew that a lot of people wanted to continue to wear the clothing that's in their closet. So I wanted to carry products that could like address, we now have a dressing gadget section, yeah, which is super cool. So we do have the buttons to buttons, um, which I mentioned before. We have some circle dress weights that can go that, um, so you don't have like a Marilyn Monroe moment with oh, the wind. I, I need, I need that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look after this. I need that. I because sitting down. Oh, I'll send it to you. Okay, I, sitting down. I can't. We're friends. Now. I can't wear. I can't wear dresses because I'm sitting down. So like uh, the wind, like yeah. So that's totally. Yeah. yeah, they're super cool. Um, they stick to your dress. They don't harm the material. Um, you can put them on. On they're reusable. Um, so we have those. We have, um, we're also, um, fingers crossed, going to be working with Open Style Lab and hopefully offering their hackability box. Um, if you don't know of Open Style Lab, they're a nonprofit out of Parsons School of Design, and they've created a hackability box, um, if, um, which has all these different tools that people can use to hack their own clothing or accessories. Um, so hopefully you and I will have to touch base. Again, I hope to have to carry those sometime in December. Um, fingers crossed that it all works out. <laughs> um, so um, it's a whole box with all different things you can use um, to really alter your own clothing and like even create like new pockets on your clothing. And, um, but some, I'm trying to think of any, I've just been, you know, one of our adaptive fashion 
influencers. Her name is Molly. Her Instagram is at um, all fashion able. Molly's a very good friend of mine and she has, she calls it Wednesday wonderful. And every, every Wednesday she goes on and she, you'll, you'll have to, ha I, I need to connect you Whitney. Cause every, every, um, Wednesday she goes on and, and talks about different life hacks. Um, and she, um, um, so she has some just fabulous hacks. Like, you know, on Amazon, there's like a, uh, she loves candles and there's like a, you just press a button and, and, um, uh, it's like a self-starting, um, so you don't have to, um, struggle with, um, lighters to light the candles. It's like an automatic electrical little lighter. Like she has such cool stuff. Yeah. That sounds very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah I just, I love it. That sounds like something I can benefit from, honestly. That's cool. I think everyone, everyone, yeah. or magnetic clasps, jewelry, like who wants to be dealing with those little tiny clasps, you know, like yeah. magnetic clasps are cool on jewelry. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was thinking one, one, uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but the one thing I struggle with is shoes and I found uh, Billy Footwear. Like I, I, they, they've become like my go-to shoe because they're, it's, uh, it's so easy. Like, you don't even have to cross your legs, like, I don't even have to cross my legs, put them on, like, I just slip, I just slip my foot right in there, and they carry, they carry so many different styles now, it's just not, it's not just tennis shoes, like, I got, I just ordered some, like, combat style boots or whatever from there, so, but that's one, that's one, that's one, uh, brand that I've been, like, loving lately, it's Billy Footwear, so. Oh yeah, we've we've recently partnered with Zappos Adaptive, so you can now go on Patty and Ricky and shop all of those shoes, um, mm -hmm. and you can shop all the shoes on Zappos Adaptive through Patty and Ricky. So um, you know they have the new Uggs with the zippers that go down, so you can easily put your feet right in. Um, so super cool brands, just really thinking um, with other needs in mind and using different closures and. Um, I think they're just realizing that, you know, when it comes to inclusive design, you know, like with Billy footwear, those shoes are for everybody. Yeah. You know, they like, make, you know? like my whole, my whole, yeah. Yeah, like my whole family, like I have a, I have a twin sister and she's able-bodied and she like totally loves them. Like my mom loves them. Like you can't, you can't tell that they have a zipper unless you're like right on, uh, unless you're like right, right on them. Like. Like they look like normal shoes. Like, yeah, love them. I love them. Yeah, that those are fabulous. Um, and they have a cool leopard print now. Like it's just yeah. it's just like thinking more fashion side. Um, so yeah, I um, there's just so many things out there, and I think you know, um, just people with disabilities have so much to give to the fashion industry. Um, you know, um, in terms of innovation and um. I'm just excited for the future of adaptive fashion, especially like the time is now and I'm just super excited to, to be involved. Exactly. And what we were, what, what we were talking about on our phone call before this, and I get a lot of questions from like people is right now the adaptive, there are, there are some brands that are the, the, in the adaptive fashion world that are on the expensive side. But it's because you're paying for the call. I, I try to tell people that you're you're paying for the quality. You're not like it. it it's it's worth the money because it's gonna last. It's gonna last for, for a while. Like, um. So, yeah. I just want to be totally transparent. Like, like there are there are some adaptive clothing that is on the expensive side, but it's totally worth it. Um. Yeah. You know. I I were chatting about that and I feel like you know right right now because adaptive fashion is so new and um you know most of my designers my over almost over a hundred designers um are all tiny companies most of them are in the U.S. but we do have now worldwide companies and and they, because it's so small um in terms of um these businesses are so small they buy in small batches which is just expensive so my hope is that we can show that there's a market for adaptive fashion and 
that people do purchase it so that can so that we can um, buy in bigger batches and be able to charge people less for it. Yeah. Um, I will tell you just like said, Whitney, things are such high quality that we sell. I, I really stand behind all of the products of Patty and Ricky. Um, and um, we have fabulous customer service. It's, you know, your products are going to last. We want everyone to be happy and find what they need. Um, and also like, I think it's, I, I love um, just the holiday season and also Valentine's day, just because um, just shopping for just fashionable functional products for your loved ones with disabilities or those that are patients or, are um, or, um, those that are seniors. Um, so we'll, this week, hopefully, and again, fingers crossed, we will have our holiday gift guides up, which will be by price. People can shop by price, by personality, um, by needs. Um, and also if you use a promo code spastic chatter 10, you'll get 10% off, um, um, until January 1st. So Whitney has an exclusive promo code with us. Yes. So we're excited about that. Yes. I'm excited about that. And all that will be linked in the description uh, for, for those of you watching and listening. Um, well, thanks, Alex, for agreeing to be on Spastic Chatter. And do you have do you have anything? Do we did, do you have anything else to add, or did we did we we covered it? We covered quite a bit about fashion. Do you have anything else to add? Well, Whitney, I'm just so happy to be on here. I hope that this is a start of many more together. I'd love to be on again. Um, I love what you're doing. Um, and um, your community means a lot to Patty and Ricky's community. So I hope to collaborate again in the future. Um, again, those that are listening, if you use Spastic Chatter 10 in, at Patty and Ricky, if you use that promo code, um, you'll get 10% off your entire purchase. So, um, and if there's ever anything any of your viewers need or they're looking for in terms of adaptive fashion, they can email us directly at info at pattyandricky.com. That's Patty with an I, Ricky with a Y, and an A-N-D in between. And um, we'll answer any of their questions or find products that we don't even carry that they might be looking for for um we'll send them elsewhere so Whitney I just want to thank you again and um uh, and thank you for all you're doing for inclusion and um and I'm just happy to be friends yeah no problem uh, thank you thank you for being on for agreeing to be on the episode and I'm definitely going to go look up your site too because I I can already there's already a few things that are running through my mind right now that I that I want to look for so so um again Thank you for being on Spastic Chatter, and um, uh, for those of you watching, check back next week for another episode of Spastic Chatter. Thanks. Bye.